There are around 46 million people eligible to vote in the last five weeks. There's been a surge of 1.7 million new people registering. But there are still 7.5 million people who are yet to sign up. I'm joined now to talk about this by Rachel Farrington, who runs the organisation Voting Counts that helps younger people understand politics, and also Simon Woolley, who's the director of Operation Black Vote. Simon first, and then Rachel. Um, why do you feel the need to do this? Well, there is a need, because there's a big gap between black minority ethnic communities actually registering to vote, in particular Africans. Uh, some 50% of Africans are not registered. So we're seeking to encourage, to inspire a generation within BME communities to stand up and be counted and make demands to close race inequality gaps. Rachel, your reasons? Um, I think... It is an unfortunate truth that policymakers often look to who's voting for them before they make the policy. So you they can't blame them for doing that, can you? <laughs> no, because it's ultimately it's who gives them their jobs. And over 65, 76% of them are voting, compared to 44% of young people, 18 to 24 year olds. So I think it's important for young people to go out and vote in mass, even if there isn't a safe seat or they don't think they can win, just so that their percentage goes up and we get looked at more when making policies. OK, so where does the onus lie? Because if the politicians are playing to their own crowd, the people who put them in the job, you, I guess you can't blame them for doing that. So if more young people voted, if more black and ethnic minority people voted, yes. they'd have to listen, wouldn't they? No, yeah. our, our mantra is reclaim democracy. Uh, and, and by doing that, we reform it and make it work for us and, and not against us. We know out there there are 168 marginal seats in which the black and minority ethnic vote could decide who wins and who loses. That's real power. How do you figure that out? Because, of course, they could vote for any party, couldn't they? We're saying there's the potential to make a substantive difference if we register to vote and vote. And, of course, we've got five hours, five and a quarter hours left. It takes three minutes to register to vote online. And by doing so, that you're making a declaration that you demand to be listened to. We'll give you details in a moment on how to vote if you're not entirely sure. But, Rachel, I mean, you're studying politics at university, yet you say a lot of your friends don't understand the politics and you don't feel that you learnt an awful lot about it at school. Yeah, at school we had a complete lack of political education until you took it as an A-level option. and There was only about 20 people in the year that actually did that. So I think there is lacking a little bit of... Education about the political system, if nothing else, I think once people understand where politics affects them, they'll become much more engaged. You mentioned the system there. Is the system itself, the way we elect our politicians and therefore our prime minister, we don't obviously elect them directly, is that putting people off? In some way, yes. Some people think that because they live in a safe seat that their vote doesn't count, but that's not true. Even if you vote for a smaller party, it means that they're not losing their deposit. It means that they can continue to fight elections in the future. But some of the people will know that you've got a fairly sort of controversial, or let's call it provocative, provocative campaign, a provocative yes. campaign, yes. where you've had various prominent black men painting different parts of their body white, yep. including uh, their face, in the case of Sol Campbell. Yep. Uh, there's Tiny Temper painting uh, up to his neck white. I know you told me he didn't want his face painted white. What was this meant to show? Because some people perhaps took it the wrong way, saying that, He's whiting up there, Sol Campbell. Is that the case? Yeah. No, I think it's a fantastic campaign that's created by the, the media giant Saatchi and Saatchi yeah. and their famous photographer Rankin. And it's a metaphor. It is a meaningful metaphor that says if you don't register to vote, if you don't vote, actually, you take the dynamism out of our institution. You take the diversity out and it becomes monolithic or not that teeming diversity. Yeah. That is the United Kingdom. And the youth as well. Thank you both very much indeed. And uh, for details on how you can register to vote, go to our website, channel5.com slash news. You need your national insurance number if you have one. That's pretty important.